Did you know that there are close to 33,600 fish species in the world according to FishBase website as of July 8, 2018? This number is more than the combination of all vertebrate species from birds, mammals, reptiles, and amphibians. With this variety of species, of course, there are multiple ways for them to ensure their genetic diversity continue to survive and well adapted to the environment. One of their specialty is by having the ability to change sex naturally or also known as hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodites is the organisms that possess both male and female sex organ, either in complete set or partially. Hermaphroditism can be found in almost 500 of species or 2% of the fish population. Their genetics also are well bended by the environment. For example, warmer temperature will change most of the fish into male and the exposure of 6 nanogram per liter of 17 alpha ethanyl estradiol will lead to the feminization of freshwater fish. Talk about naturally occurring sex switching mechanism. There are generally three ways of how fish could transform their sex to maximize their chances of survival. The first one is protogynous, meaning the ability to change from female to male. This is the most common in many reef species. For example, Asian sheepshead wrasse, parrotfish, groupers, and gobies. The best explanation for these circumstances is due to size advantage hypothesis. Larger male will dominate the territory and the smaller female will lay eggs for the only male to spawn and defend the spawning sites. Once the female grow larger and the male die, it will become the male and take the throne. The second method is protandrous, which refers to the ability to change from male to female. This type of species is less abundant than the protogynous. Common species is none other than the ever popular clownfish, and several other species that are commonly known in aquaculture industry, such as Asian sea bass or Bayramundi, gillhead sea brim, and balan ras, which is rare to be used as cleaner fish for farm fish. The protandrous require a queen and couple of males to guarantee their chances of survival. The logic is, larger female is more fertile and smaller male is sufficient to spread the sperm. The third and the most interesting type of hermaphrodites is bidirectional hermaphrodites. This group belongs to those who can change the sex back and forth according to their environment circumstances. One species that is well known for this type of sexual mechanism is coral gobies. This enduring fish is a very typical loner. They move around very infrequently and chances to meet new pairing partner is very low. Hence, once two fish meet with any possible gender, this mechanism could surely come in handy. By the way, do you know any other species of protogynous, protandrous, and bidirectional hermaphrodites? Share them in the comment section below. If you like what we've shared today, be sure to give us a thumbs up share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Each and every support that we gain is valuable for us to continue sharing about our enduring fish's life. Till then, thank you for watching and see you next time.